So after what um, Andrew has said about what a wonderful course this is, you know, of course, 20 years um, being and teaching on the course is actually nothing. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be there from the beginning. So when Denise asked me to talk about my journey on the, on the EDD, um, in fact, um, I went back to John Ogburn. I visited him in Lewis. And John said that it all started with a note that he received from Sir Peter Newsom, at the time the director of the institute, um, and he came in his tray. He said no email at that time. So the clipping um, had information about other doctorates, other EDs, Bristol and you know, other EDs, um, that, that, um, and that was in 95. Um, and Peter Newsom obviously um, um, urged him to um, do something about it. Um, and John Ogborn being at the Board of Higher Degrees um, program, he took it upon himself to start designing this amazing ED, which we have today. Um, and he said the one thing that he found quite difficult to do, and you know, we've heard about it a couple of times now, it was the research component. And having taught this research component for 20 years now, or part of it, I, I think I can definitely say a, a few things about that now. So, the jo John believed that the, the component had to be so strong that Senate would pass it. And that's you know, what Andrew was saying as, as well, because you know, absolutely the degree had to be at the same level as every other doctorate um, and um, uh, you know, highly um, uh, accredited. So um, we've with, John, with David Scott, actually, we were asked by John Ogborn to design that research component. And David took the methods of inquiry one, which focused on philosophical and epistemological aspects. I don't know if there's anybody now here who was taught by David, and I don't know if David's here as well. Ah, oh, there you are, great. So we do have some people who have been here as long as I have. <laughs> and Methods of Inquiry 2 on Research, Processes and Skills was, was my part. Um, and in the beginning, John said, well, right, well, shouldn't we know a little bit more about who are the people who are going to be coming on this? And why don't we find out about how they want to be taught? So then he gave me the task to run a survey. So I called up, I don't know, 35, 40 um, practitioners teachers, heads of schools, university and college lecturers, principals, policy makers, government, uh, people, education consultants. I, it was a pleasure to do that phone survey. I found out a lot about what, why they might have come on, on the course, but also they voted for the Friday, Saturday and um, mode, which is three, three, um, three times a term. And that has actually created that chemistry that um, you mentioned, that, that actually a whole day there with a group of people is really what makes you bond and, and work better together. So it's, it's two days in a, it's consecutive and, and that really works, as well as those Saturday mornings later on and so on that keeps it going. So that was extremely important. So is it then just about getting another degree? Well, just about when I was thinking about um, uh, what I would say about uh, on this, a couple of months ago actually, when, when Denise asked me to do th this job, um, I had the pleasure uh, of um, a visiting scholar, uh, a, um, an Erasmus doctoral student from Lithuania. And she said her interest um, in her doctorate was the motivation on, th on the doctorate. So I thought, right, great. So why don't you start interviewing you know, the, the doctors that just arrived, and then I will have something to say today. <laughs> so it, what is it all about? You know, wha why do you want that degree? Is it just having another degree? Well, yes, some, some of us, of course, would want it for career purposes, and it is quite nice to have um, a degree. But here's what some of them said. I think perhaps I don't know how usual this is, but I'm doing the ED for fun. I'm not really doing it with any career in mind, but it's just because I'm interested in the topic that I want to study. What I think I'll, what I hope I will get after is, personally, I think maybe I'll see things differently. I will be able to research more, understand bigger pictures, be able to pick things up 
I'll know more. Um, what about respect? Yeah, well, yeah, most people don't have doctorates, so I think if someone's got a doctorate, then it means that um, ha they have a certain level of knowledge, and also I'm dealing with academics a lot, so, well, I think, I think they will listen to you more. They hold you in more regard. I think if you have completed a doctorate, it would be better. And then the challenge, of course, that I decided that I had an opportunity, and it seemed like a good challenge, intellectually stimulating, so that I, it could keep me interested because I like having challenges. I think it will give me more credibility. I think, yeah, more credibility both internally within the organization but also in my industry. And of course, you know, being trusty, you know, trust you definitely and being empowered. And I wanted this, the educational doctorate experience, this is particularly for the ID, because I wanted that transition from sort of the taught component, taught element um, to the research thing because I have done a pocket full of research across the last 10 years. I wasn't confident enough in my research skills, nor that I was current in terms of theory. So I wanted that gentle or not so gentle introduction. So once I had a very sort of basic foundation, then to go to my independent research that I'd feel genuinely confident that I've got the skills and knowledge to be able to do it well. So all of those things kind of made me choose the education doctorate over a doctorate. So the course, I feel, um, has, is, is building is really building the um, foundations for all this. And what I would say, and sort of D Denise kind of agreed with me um, yesterday when I mentioned this, is that it's a telltale course. It actually gives a pretty accurate indicator um, of how easy or difficult conducting research will be in the next two phases the IFS and, and the thesis. Um, and because it has the main ingredient, which is to re bring a research problem to the table, discuss it, reflect on it, focus the inquiry, and collect evidence to support a solution, at least one solution, and all these with peer support and one-to-one -one tutorial. So the course really is, is kind of built to last. Um, and of course, it's also about continuity. It has been, uh, fundamentally, the course has changed little over um, the years. Um, and it has, of course, it evolved according to student demand. So we had having an, an ear on the ground, being sensitive to student feedback and um, encouraging flexibility. Um, we changed some things from assessment and feedback modes and sheets and um, starting times of sessions. Uh, this is all, you know, to respond to student um, needs. But fundamentally, it actually has not changed very much, and I think that speaks to the course. But the main thing I wanted to say, and, and I think um, Andrew again also pointed to it, is this responsibility that this research component ha actually has. Because you, the EDD students who are um, graduating, have the immediate, and actually already from the IFS moment, have an immediate chance, an opportunity to change things, to make impact, to, uh, to have impact. And I think that cannot be underestimated. And we cannot be not very responsible about that research component. And so I think that's really quite crucial. But of course, we wouldn't have done any of this without a fantastic team. And of course, Kathy comes back, Wendy Barber comes back, you know, all these people who are absolutely pillars of, of um, of the idea and we wouldn't be able to, to work without them. Um, Charlie, who is going to talk about some things about the international idea, but I, I couldn't have done any of what I've done without sub Charlie's support, of course. And then my brave tutor teams with um, John Swain, John Vorhaus, and Hodgson. They're probably not here today, but... Um, and then later on, Catherine Twomley, Holly, Andrea Kaori. I know some of you are there. Um, Long-standing contributions from colleagues, Peter Blatchford, Jane Harry, Iram, um, and later on, ED graduates who are now teaching on the ED, like Karen Majors and Sue Taylor. Um, it, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful tip, and I really, I thank you all deeply. <laughs>